Alrighty. This search for the princess continues. What's going on, outlaws, today? I want to talk a little bit about this here. Missing disappeared princess. Isabeau Katharina Zinsenmemner. Alrighty, well, first things first here, says Whiskey. You take out so Now, what's every... gotten into you hanging by me like this? Quit talking to me. I'm trying to do a YouTube video. Excuse you, sir. That's very rude. I swear to God. Anyway, uh, something triggers the encounter this inside of the bar, besides just inspecting the poster there because I've played this game before all the way through several times and not encountered the uh, drunk man in the bar so it's something outside of that that whiskey. I believe uh, see there ain't seen you around here before you ain't looking for that princess is you had a few fellers through here recently asking about that. Chasing some reward for some European princess missing for 15 years now. Damn fools. Only princesses in Van Horn charged by the hour for less than a royal fuck. Anyways, <laughs> you clearly don't know what I'm talking about. I might even see the whole uh, you, you, you can like one more? You can encounter this person. It's some not always the same guy. It's not, sometimes it's a different feller. Thank you, ma'am. So, uh, we've tried many things. Red Dead Redemption community ain't messing around when it comes to trying to find this missing princess. It's like she's actually real. They're trying to solve this more than actual crimes in real life. And I've tried lots of things. You know, one of the things I thought would be a great idea to put a clue on a damn pigeon... Because they used to use carrier pigeons back in the olden days. I sat there and shot every damn pigeon out of the sky. Hey, that, you'd think that'd be a great idea, but no, apparently not. Now let me try to get through the rest of this here. A little rant about this I got. Yeah, I tried shooting them all thinking that would, that would be a great way to trigger another encounter. But nope. I've stood completely still in Van Horn. Hoping to just trigger a random encounter. Because there's also evidence out there that if you stand completely still in front of a, a missing princess's belongings, which is located inside of the Van Horn fence, the trading post fence there, that the, that the covered light will start blinking. But nobody even knows what that means, so... It's pretty enigmatic. Doesn't really lead to much. Could be a red herring. Yeah, you, you could... There's also these arrows. Okay. I'll show you. I'm sure some of y'all know about them. The hell has got in... Easy, girl. Yeah. I got lumbago. Deal with it. Oh, we'll see. These... Planks are kind of shaped like arrows. That one points to the sheriff's office. And then there's one right there. It points to the fence. So, if you go over, there's Look at where you're going. whiskey and beer stashed away inside of here for all the vagrants that live around here in Van Horn. Sometimes it's whiskey, sometimes it's beer. Oh, today has got to be a beer. All right, well, hot damn. Drink yourself a beer, Arthur. You deserve it. All right. And I really don't think these arrows lead anywhere. There's one there. There's one there. And the other one there. They don't go nowhere. They're just kind of scattered all over the place. Here. Uh, that's not one. There's one. Boom. Uh, I've 
tried throwing a, shooting a fire arrow at the lighthouse at different times of the day. At one point, I uh, triggered some kind of weird visual effect, but I don't think it has anything to do with the game. I think it was kind of just an accidental glitch. It was neat, but didn't lead to nothing. Now, everybody knows there's all these spots in Red Dead Redemption where you can just sit down. My theory on it is that you get 100% game completion, you go sit down to all the spots, something's gonna happen. Uh, maybe the third meteorite gonna fall from the sky. Uh, maybe you see that sea monster uh, that destroyed the boat here. <clears throat> I really don't know. But recently, people have discovered an Easter egg in uh, GTA Online's Cayo Perico heist mission. Uh, the princess, the photograph of her during the heist. You can find all kinds of Red Dead Redemption memorabilia, trinkets, and Easter eggs. But, uh, they're leaving clues. To me, it's, it comes off as trolling. False clues. Nothing else. Why... The way I see it is, uh, people have already figured out the location of where in the Easter egg Princess is, so it doesn't add up. It suggests in this recent Easter egg that has been discovered that she's at the Braithway Manor. But the game file tells us that we have to drop the Prince, Mrs. Princess off at Annisburg Sheriff's Office and that we could find her in the swoons but we ain't found her yet so honestly I think Rockstar got their head up their ass and they're just trying pretty hard to seem mysterious and it comes off as making them look stupid and half ass well I guess uh, the credit for the finding of this Easter egg, I I uh, watched a video of the YouTuber Trippy Commentaries. Uh, he uploads regularly as a really big GTA and Red Dead Redemption community. So uh, that's where the discovery of the new Easter egg for the missing princess comes from. If you want to go check out their videos, please do so. Uh, uh, anyways, I just thought I'd make this little video right quick for you fellers and all you outlaws. Uh, hope it helps. I doubt it will. But at least it's something to think about. So, until we meet again, I guess, uh, y'all stay pretty.